Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. For today's video, I want to create a neutral look from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Alien Palette. So if you guys didn't see my previous video, I made a look, a cut crease look using the Jeffree Star Alien Palette and it was quite dramatic. It was not that everyday look. So today I want to do a neutral look from this palette because the eyeshadows are really good. So inside the palette there are 18 shades. They are cool tone. This palette is $52 in retail and it's cruelty free and vegan. In this palette there are so many colors to choose from. There are a lot of colors that would just pop right away when you see them like this green right here yellow green it's a neon yellow green this green too the greens the oranges and this purple the others could be neutral and we can use them to make a neutral look so that's what i'm gonna attempt today we'll see so as you guys can tell i already have my face foundation contour eyebrows i already prepped my lids too with mac paint pot yeah so i'm ready for the eyeshadow first thing i want to put laura mercier under my eyes just to protect from fallout i know we're gonna make a neutral look and i might not need this but i just want to do an extra protection all right so that's it that's the translucent i used the laura mercier translucent powder it's going to bake i know all right so let's start all right just in case you guys are wondering i have a top <laughs> I'm not naked. First color I'm going to use this shade right here, Gravity. It's so cute because in his new palette, the Blue Blood palette, he has a shade named Mint Tea, like Mint Tea. This one is Gravity. We all know Jeffree Star, he likes spilling teas. I picked up with my MAC 224 brush the shade Gravity, and I'm gonna put that on my crease. It's gonna be my transition shade. So I want to attempt a look that is neutral but is still glam. For our transition shade, it's just windshield wiping movements. These eyeshadows are really good and they blend so well, especially the matte shades. What's more surprising is the metallic shades you can pick up with brushes and they actually work better with the brushes. All right, I think that's good. Next, I'm gonna pick up my MAC 217 brush. And the next shade we're going to pick up is this right here. It's X-Files. It's another matte shade. It's a little bit grayish, brownish tone. Kind of scared to use this. I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm hoping it's gonna be really good. So I'm gonna put that just on my outer crease. Wow, this is really nice. We're gonna blend that outwards. It's coming out really nice. I'm good, so. <laughs> Just whatever is left on the brush, I'm gonna bring it forward to the inner corner, blend it. I'm gonna do the other eye. So from the crease, slowly blend it upwards. I'm using like circle, circle, circular motion. Just pulling that color upwards. This eye blends so much better than the other one. All the time, all the time. So I finally got new lights. <laughs> I finally got a ring light. I'm using it. I think my setup is really good now. My lighting is so good. What do you guys think about my light? Comment down below. Let me know. There are improvements in my channel. I am very grateful. Okay, so I I think that's it. It looks so good. I don't know which shade I'm gonna use next because they're all so pretty. All right, next I'm gonna pick up a flat brush. 
I'm going to pick up Interstellar. It's my second favorite shadow in the palette. My most favorite is Probe. This one is, oh my, it's so good. Okay, so I'm going to put this right on my lid. See how beautiful that is without anything underneath? <laughs> also, just using a dry brush. I bet if I wet my brush, it's gonna be 10 times better. This is so beautiful. It, my, my brush is just dry. It's not even wet. How? How? I mean, not even the Natasha Denona can do this. <laughs> All right, next I'm gonna get a pencil brush and I'm gonna get this Space Cowboy and put it right here. Do I like it? Do we love it? Yeah. Okay, the other eye. We didn't even use any concealer to cut crease, but it looks very good. All right, next I'm gonna get the smallest flat brush that I have, and I'm gonna get the shade Pluto. And then I'm gonna pop that in the inner corner of my eye. Oh wow, this shade Pluto is so good. I wonder if Jeffrey named Pluto for this shade because you can see the shade from Pluto. <laughs> That's so bright. I like that Pluto, so I'm gonna place that right here, just at the center, just a little bit. Just to highlight it. Yes. All right, that looks really good. I'm gonna take off the powder. Okay, for my under eye, this is a small blending brush from Luxie. This is the Luxie 1 to 1 brush. And I'm gonna pick up Gravity and put that under my eyes. Alright, next I'm gonna get the pencil brush that I used and I'm gonna pick up the Space Cowboy again and pop that under my eyes near my under lash line. Smoke it a little bit. So to smoke it, you just blend it downwards. Okay, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit. All right, next I'm gonna pick up the flat brush that we use for Interstellar. I'm gonna pick up Interstellar again. Add that in between Pluto and what shade was that? Space Cowboy under eyes, because there is a space there. Drag it down a little. It's like that blending effect. All right, I think that's it. We're done with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm gonna pick up an eyeliner brush and I'm also Inglot number 77. This gel eyeliner is superb. It is the best. It is the blackest black. Inglot is very famous for it. This is a makeup artist secret. What I'm gonna do is just line, but I'm not gonna do a wing line today. This brush is from Swesh. I got it from the Philippines, so. I've been using Swesh for 10 years. It's so amazing, because I got them for like maybe $30. 10 years ago, I was just starting as a makeup artist student. This was my first brush set. 10 years, I'm still using them. They're actually pretty good and sturdy. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna line the other eye and then I'll be back. For my mascara, I'm going to use my L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I also tight line the upper water line and I put some mascara. Now that I'm done with my powders on my eyes, I'm going to set my eyebrows. NYX Tinted Brow Mascara Chocolate. While waiting for my eyebrows to dry, I'm going to put my lashes for today's lashes. I don't know what to pick, <laughs> but I've been loving Tati lashes. But also, I just got Lily lashes from the mail. Let's try 
Con. Conis. Canes. Con. This is how it looks like. I'm gonna pop these eyelashes and I'll be back. Alright, so this is how Lily Lashes Can looks like on my eyes. They're very comfortable. They're pretty. They're not very big that they cover my eyeshadow look that I just created. I like how fluffy they are. I like lashes that are fluffy. They're really nice. I like it. I actually like them than Miami. They are fluffier than Miami, so maybe that's why. I like Lily Lashes very much. It's just that they're so expensive. You're just gonna use it for how many times? I'm not really a fan of washing it and then drying it. Deforms. I don't know how to take care of expensive lashes. I'm used to one use and throw away lashes like we do in Tokyo. In Japan, they just have like that dollar store lashes and they're pretty good. And they just use them once and then you throw it away. Lily lashes are so expensive that you have to take care of them and clean them. A mess for me sometimes, but I love Lily lashes and they had um, a promotion. Buy one and then get one Miami free. So I got that deal. For the last touch, I'm gonna use one more. <laughs> One more, last one. With a flat brush, I'm gonna take this Titan shade. I'm gonna put it under my brows. I love that shade, it's so pretty. And then I'm just gonna blend that with the 224 brush that we used, the first brush that we used for my eyes. Just a little bit. And then that's it, done. Do you guys like my hair? I'm not a hair person. I've been struggling to do my hair on my channel. And finally, I think I got few styles that I can, you know, wear. I'm so bad at doing hair and I don't like doing my hair. I just ponytail it up sometimes, flat iron it. And I think I'm doing good, right? You guys like it? <laughs> it's so cute. I'm getting the hang of it for my channel. For my bronzer, I'm just gonna use a little bit of bronzer. Not a lot, just a little bit. Morphe Y9 brush. This is what I use for my bronzer. I'm gonna pick up these two shades right here from KKW Beauty. This is Powder Contour Kit Medium. Blend these two with where I contour, so here in the cheeks. What I do is after my eyes, if it's more dramatic, I need more shade on my face. And if I'm just going for a natural look, I don't put a lot of contour bronzer. Also the same with eyebrows. You don't want the dark eyebrows when you have a little bit of eyeshadow. Okay, bring that down. I'm also gonna put a little bit here on my nose. A little bit. All right, for my blush, I'm going to use KKW Beauty in Lux. I think this is from her Bible Glam Collection. It is a neutral peach pink shade. I can compare it with Baby Love from Too Faced, my favorite blush on. This one is more peachy. The Baby Love is more neutral. This is very beautiful and subtle. So pretty. If you guys can see the glitter so on my shoulders and on my face, I use the Cover FX glitter drops with my foundation. I always put something in my foundation. I mix it with glitters. Next, I'm going to use another KKW Beauty. It's a brightening powder. It's for the under eye. This one is the yellow one and it's in number three. Sometimes I use the pink one. I'm a little bit darker right now. This is for medium skin. Okay, just like that. And I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. Just careful with it. Because you don't want to mess up your contour. On my forehead, right here at the center, it's going to give you the illusion there is a spotlight hitting your forehead, chin. The bridge of my nose, I always highlight that and upper lips. If you're not a fan of shimmer, glitter, highlights, you can use this brightening powder. They also have brightening powders with Anastasia contour palette. This is just the same thing. All right, so next I'm going to spray. This is the Morphe Continuous Spray. And I love this because spray is so misty. Sometimes I do the spray before I put mascara. So I love how there's glitters picking through. So I'm not gonna put any more highlight. For my lips, I love Jeffree Star's Mini Velour lipsticks. Love all the colors from this collection. 
you guys can see me. It's too big. For today, I think favorite is Celebrity Skin. For my lip liner, I'm going to use KKW Beauty Lip Liner Nude Number 2. Okay, and then I'm gonna put Celebrity Skin. This has like Pepsi Cola smell, but I don't mind because it goes away. And then I blend it with my finger. All right guys, I think this is it. We finished the look and I'm so happy with it. I love my lips. My lips are so perfect. I keep looking at the viewfinder. <laughs> I love the eye makeup look from Jeffree Star Alien Palette. I am pretty impressed that I did a neutral look that I can wear at the grocery store <laughs> or on a date night. Lily Lashes won my heart again. This is my favorite Lily Lash now. What do you guys think about this look? Let me know down in the comment box. I hope you guys like it. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And I'm so thankful if you do subscribe to my channel. Also, hit that notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Karina and I'm Swatch Queen. Bye! Let me know what you guys want to see next. Planning to film videos using the Blue Blood Palette and the Blood Sugar Palette from Jeffree Star with neutral looks. I want to attempt neutral looks from those palettes and see what I can come up with.